It's Sonic Temple Live from the Rabbit Customs Artist Lounge, powered by number one Rikers with 99.7 The Blitz. I'm married. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, sorry. Hold on. Well, my fiance is over there, so (laughs) that's awesome. All right. So we are live from the Rabid Customs Artist Lounge at day two of Sonic Temple Art and Music Fest. This is Chris from In This Moment. Hi. Thank you for having me again. So excited. So uh, there was uh, this whole thing about getting, getting somebody from In This Moment back to have a little couch time. They and I said, me. I would love to meet Chris again because he's awesome. And I'm glad because he came in makeup. I said, without makeup, I would love you just the same. So I'm so happy you're I'm here. glad I pleased you today. Yes, you made <laughs> my day. And I'm happy to be with you too. So I'm this very, is awesome. Very excited. We're happy so to be here too. You guys are hitting, Rock let's see, you're on at four, uh, 540. 540, yep. the monster stage. So it'll still be light out there. Yes. But the sun's going to be on you, yes. but you're going to rock balls. We're like going to rock know? balls like we always do. It is a little more challenging for anyone in the sun, but especially the show we're trying to pull off, pull off you know, it's got a lot of lighting and you yeah. know, subtle cues and cool things like that that no one will see here today. Yes, but and that that's kind of the thing, but I think you guys do a lot of that dry, icy stuff too. We're going to do everything we can to yeah. make it as epic as we can <laughs> talk a little bit about um your start like you and maria created in this moment but you started with another band before and kind of go from there to kind of work your way up to how you you know hooked up with randy and the rest of the guys in the beginning it was maria and i were like do, trying to do a band and we got some other members and all of us kind of started together and got a deal together and we did three albums on an independent label together and things were you know, really good considering how it is for most bands. We did well, but we got to this point where, you know, we really weren't making any money. We were putting out records and touring, but just not really having success in that way, you know, in the bigger way. Um, And a couple of the guys were just like not feeling it anymore and they quit. And so Maria and I were kind of like really just her and I, like, what are we going to do? Are we going to keep going with this? And we decided, let's just, just keep trying, you know. But at that point we were like, let's not be afraid to try something different. Let's do the things we always talked about doing, but never did. Like, like she got rid of the handheld mic and we, she got some dancers and we did props and dressed up more and all this stuff started happening. And the music too, we kind of were like, let's just do stuff we always wanted to do, but we're too afraid. And all of a sudden it was successful. (laughs) And so now we're like, wow. (laughs) You're like, it was one of those like redemption stories where we were at the lowest but it was meant to be, and it helped us to create where we what we have now. And now it's just been growing and growing. And in a desperation moment, we brought in uh, Randy, who was a guy I knew for a long time and knew he could play the songs and knew he could figure it out while I was trying to figure it out what we were going to do for a band. And Travis was the same kind of situation, and it ended up being a perfect fit. We've been friends with them for a long time, so they're almost like family already when they joined, and it's been great. And all the while, Maria's just like, okay, I'm going to create – perfect vision she I is mean, she's amazing and she that. never stops with it either that's that's so crazy do you guys collaborate on the visual show is she open to that or is it just in her head and she just makes it and you she's, guys go i will do that she's totally open to that um i've learned over the years we used to argue a lot at the beginning of the band because we were both clashing with our visions and we weren't like unified on what the band was going to be and at a certain point i realized you know what really was the driving force and that a lot of her ideas were so amazing and so now and she cares what I think you know for partners Um, but I really trust her vision a lot a lot of times she says ideas that I'm like scared like oh my (laughs) god she's crazy but (laughs) yeah and I don't but I don't say it I don't try to like take the wind out of her sails I always wait and see and I could you know list off example after example of situations like that that ended up being like one of the coolest things on our show or a coolest thing on the album or an idea that was so epic that but I was like afraid, you know, the same thing with the fear of just being afraid to try something radical. You when know? when you perform the show and then you go back later and you see like the video, do you ever do that? You go back and watch the video of a whole yeah. concert. Do you do you critique yourself or do you go, wow, that was cooler. That visual was cooler than I thought I ever imagined. Or do you go, oh, man, that sucked. We shouldn't do that. Like, we how always, do you feel when you see that? We're always looking at videos to, to get better, you know. And it's usually a lot of time it's cooler than you think. You know, you're like. I'm, I'm in the dark and the lights aren't working and nobody can see this or it's too bright and then you look at it and you're like wow that actually looks really cool um, but it does help us too as a tool to like you know this isn't working you guys look we all look like we're in the wrong place here and they're over there and you're over here and we gotta fix that you know yeah so, so okay I do this quick thing alright let's see um 
pick a number from one to 35. I have all these just, there's some dumb questions and there's some that are like, just what's your favorite pizza topping? So pick a number, it determines your fate of which question I ask you. One to 35? Yes. I'm gonna say 33. 33, okay, hold on. Oh, Ooh, I haven't gotten to ask this one yet, Chris. All right, Chris, from in this moment, they're gonna rock that shit today. I'm so excited. Yeah. Okay, uh, when you were a kid, what did you want to be when you became an adult? Attend college or trade school or become a rock star right out of the gate? What did you want to do? I wanted to be a rock star. Yeah. I mean, what do you expect people to say here? <laughs> but honestly, I think a, a lot of us were like thinking about, you know, we had the broom in the mirror, you know, we were little kids and yeah. then it just led us to here. Was you know? there something that kind of clicked right away that you remember going, oh, I want that? It moment. was uh, Michael Jackson, probably. I hate saying that. That's now, okay. But it, you know, he, the beat it and all that stuff was so cool. I knew I loved music. And then uh, my mom and dad took me to see the band called Kansas. And I loved that so much. And then oh. I saw Kiss and I saw Motley Crue kind of like in the magazines. And it was just all like, oh, I've got to do that. Wayward you know? son to Theater of Pain. Yeah. I love you so real. much. <laughs> For real. <laughs> so let's talk about the new album. So we okay. have a title and we have a release month. Release month, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so talk about the title and the significance of that and the release month. Give me some scoop. Uh, Mother is the title of the album. Yes. And it's kind of an extension of ritual. Um, and the reason... We thought a mother. It's a lot of different things, but you know, a lot of the fans call Maria mom for one. They're always Makes like, sense. "Mom, Ma Maria's my mom," and Mother Maria, and all this. And that was always kind of there. We were actually even talking about it for the last album, but it felt like maybe we weren't ready for it yet. <clears throat> but it's also mother in the sense of Mother Earth, the creation of life. You know, all these things that Mother is, has such significance. Like a bigger for. picture, yeah. stepping back and looking. Exactly, at exactly. Yeah. Mother's kind of connected to everything. So in all that sense, it's really cool, and it gives us a lot to, to pull from. And, you know, and Maria is a mom. You know, she was raised by her mom. You know, everybody has a mom, you know, in some sense. And so it's like it's just that whole concept is kind of where we're going for. With the extension of Ritual, the album before, and some of the yeah. imagery with that, like the, you know, ritualistic, pagan kind of feel. Which will, it, has it changed your stage show then a little bit? Have you progressed into something a little different then? It's similar, but different. Yeah, we really brought a whole new show this year. So will we see that today? Yeah, you'll <gasps> be seeing a whole new thing today with oh. a couple of, not a new song from the album. Well, one new song from the album, but <gasps> Which just one? new stuff. It's it's a title. It's not a title track. I'm sorry. Uh, it's, it's just a, <laughs> it's a cover. You to me. <laughs> it's, a, <laughs> it's a new cover that we're doing. It's the first song we're going to play, um, but we're also okay. playing another song we haven't ever played before off an older album okay uh, that i think people are really gonna like and and the choreography and the the staging and the all of it's different so and it's august august ish is when i heard and that could change okay but the album is done we're like doing the final like notes on on the mixes and stuff um and we're picking this the song that's going to be coming out first we're still not sure there's a lot of really good stuff on it it's going to be heavy i think people are really going to yeah. like that about it heavier from ritual heavy heavier from ritual and wow. i i've been saying maybe probably the heaviest since blood because blood Ooh. was the last i felt like wow this is really yeah. heavy i mean when you got blood 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 going like exactly. really yeah i like the style <laughs> coming awesome. my way okay so um let's see uh since you said you're a motley crew fan oh, yeah. did you see the dirt yes i did <gasps> okay so did you love it I liked a lot of parts of it. Okay. So let me ask you, and it has nothing to do with Motley Crue, but it has to do with how they sort of embellished a lot of stuff. Right. Do you think Ozzy really snorted the ants and licked the pee? I feel like yes. And I feel like yes. what they did in the movie was softened yes. a lot of everything. And, and, and then I read a thing <laughs> where they were saying they ended up at the end of the movie looking like a bunch of lovable scamps <laughs> running off into the distance together. And they kind of did. In reality, that was a darker kind of craziness that was, you know, I was, they, you know, they were influencing me my whole life. I looked, thought they were the awesomest thing. I'm looking at all the magazines. They were so cool. And, and the book, The Dirt, you know, I read the whole thing. It was amazing. And the movie just wasn't quite as edgy as that. Yeah. But it's still, you know, they're one of my favorite bands. I love the movie. The book was kind of like segmented, the memory, the perception of yeah. what each member had. And then, so I think the movie was sort of a combination of all that. I believe the stories about Ozzy. I don't, I don't ever doubt any story about Ozzy. Me neither. And, you know, he's been really having a rough year. So, Ozzy... We wish you happy yeah. health, uh, improvement. We need to get you back on the road in 2020 because you need to tour within this moment. We'd love How to go out again, Ozzy. <gasps> Please make that happen. Yeah, it'd be great. So Chris, Maria, the whole crew, they're going to be on stage today, day two, in the heat, in the sun, on the Monster Main stage, 540 bringing it hardcore and please remember the new album comes out august ish but look yeah. for it it's called mother buy it go back get blood get ritual get all that 
and love on my dude over here in my crew. All right. Yeah, awesome. From the Rabid Customs Artist Lounge, from Sonic Temple Art and Music Fest, Chris, in this moment, peace out. Peace. <laughs>